This is code.org and we're gonna create a painter plus class. Awesome. So create a new Java file uh, already called painter plus.java. And guys, remember naming is super important, right? So we need capital P, capital P there, dot Java. Alrighty. Oh, they gave us the dot Java. That's good. We don't wanna delete or change it. It has to be at the end too. So painter plus.java, and I'm gonna smack create. By that I mean click create. <laughs> All right. Write the painter class header for the painter class class. Do not forget to extend the painter class. So this functionally actually would import everything, but that's fine. They want us to do it this way. Import painter, which makes sense. And it's similar right there. All right. Write the constructor signature for the painter plus class inside the constructor call super. Wow, that's a lot. Let's see what they help us with. Aha. Perfect. So... They give us a ton of stuff. And guys, use your resources, right? Let's use this. So we need public subclass. So I'm going to hit enter here. Public class and subclass. Okay, well, what's the subclass? Write the header for the painter plus. Write the constructor for the painter plus class. Inside the constructor, call super to call the super class constructor. So our subclass is painter plus, right? Painter plus now that's the class and make sure the name matches exactly the file name which also should be uh spelled identically right extends and then super class if i type that here everything's gonna break super class doesn't exist that's not what we're extending right this is the example what we need to extend what we want painter plus to be able to do is everything the painter can do and that's why we're importing the painter class so we can extend the painter. That way, no matter what, we don't even have to recreate, you know, the ability to move or the ability to paint. That will automatically be there. So now I'm going to do a curly bracket, hit enter. Now we need a constructor. Now the constructor is the thing that actually creates the object. And what I mean by that is when we do equals new painter, what it's doing there equals new painter with parentheses, it's running this constructor. And so the constructor, this is perfect, public superclass, subclass. Where are they getting subclass? Oh, they're, it has to be identical to the class name. Okay, so public, what's my class name? Painter plus, boom, boom, curly bracket, and I'm going to hit an enter. Now, super, hmm, now are we going to use super? Well, I don't know. They said superclass, right? So maybe I'm supposed to use painter? I'm not, though. I'm really not. Super actually works. And I will point out, guys, that super actually, they it here, but it's a different case. We kind of know that this is a functioning thing because of how it's written there. Call super and your constructor, right? So let's pay attention to what they're giving us. Call super. Now, what the heck does super do? Super lets the computer know this is what actually grabs the painter. So painter plus is going to extend everything in painter. But this super tells the computer, hey, when we create a painter plus, right, when we run equals new painter plus in parentheses, when that gets run, what do you do? Well, you use painter plus and you grab everything in super. The computer thinks, what in the world is super? Oh, smack. What is above this? What would be super? Well, here's the class. What's extended? Painter. So painter is above this. And therefore, painter plus gets to be able to do everything. Super enables that. All right, this is looking good. Boom, it's not gonna do anything yet. Perfect, but there's no errors. Do they ask us? Nope, we don't even wait to do. Oh, that's level three. Cool, bam, bam, and perfect, onward.